What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about why it's not the best to configure an email server from your house. So today I've actually gone through the painstaking idea of, oh, I'm going to set up an email server from my house. And it was going pretty well. The whole setup process was going great. And, you know, I got everything <laughs> configured. Everything was working pretty well internally. And then externally, it was starting to work. I tried to send an email out and it didn't work, but I could receive email. And I tried troubleshooting it for a couple of hours to find out that, simply put, because I'm an ISP, I have an ISP, it doesn't block port 25, but what it does have is a dynamic IP address. See, this cheap service, unlike a dynamic IP address, is essentially crap, because the cheap service gives you a dynamic IP address, and the more expensive service gives you a static IP address, meaning it doesn't change. Dynamic means it changes. And mail servers simply don't like dynamic IP addresses. They will block them. They will put them in spam. And I think I know why, because a lot of times computers get hacked and essentially will stop, will become a botnet and start sending out emails and using that as your essentially, as your, as your zombies and, and <laughs> start attacking other servers. So I think that's why they've blocked it. And that's why you need to use a SMTP relay service if you want to do it from your house and at that point you're spending money per month to house the email at your house without a proper firewall configuration otherwise you're going to have to configure a firewall configuration to basically house your emails and quite frankly sometimes it's even more money to have an smtp service a relay service on there essentially an smtp relay service relays your email even though it, it basically you you point your server to the relay service and it relays the mail to your server so basically there's another server that you're paying to be on will relay the mail to your server it's not worth it you're better off doing a google uh, suite for five dollars a month at least in i'm sure you can find something cheaper but I chose that and I'm able to get my domain name and everything working well with 30 gigs of storage and security that I know chances are won't be hacked. So that's why my word of warning, it's fun to be a geek, it's fun to do this stuff on a personal level, it's fantastic. Um, I love doing it, but it comes at a cost, you know, it, in terms of if you want just email to get your job done, like I want to do in this scenario. For, for YouTube so people can email me. By the way, email me at jmcloutier at cisner.net if you have any questions about anything, including this video. Um, you're better off going with the other service. It's not worth the hassle. It's a great learning adventure to go through to start configuring uh, your server with uh, either IMAP or POP or everything like that. But in the long run, it isn't worth the time it's your organization will probably already have email set up first of all when you get there if you want to set it up yourself you're more than welcome to and it most likely will be easier in the real world i mean um because you pay for professional stuff whereas when you're in your house you get what you get anyways that's pretty much it i want to say that i'm going to be doing a podcast coming up soon which i'm looking forward to and that should be a lot of fun um, because me and my friends talk about a lot of things ranging from Nintendo products to technology to everything. Um, and I will be doing that very soon. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I will have a video to another person's um, SMTP relay service explanation. So you guys, if you really want to get into this, but again, there's the warning. Um, you can. And it's fun, but I'm not paying for an SMTP relay service to, to get my job done. I already figured out how to do everything, and I am paying the $5 a month. All right, let me know what you guys think below.